Oh baby, this is looking freaking epic. <laughs> well, good morning folks and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm out on another Vermont lake, one of the small Vermont lakes that I've been talking about with you guys. And I'm with Jed. And you guys probably remember Jed from so uh, Jig and Lake Trout and he's gonna show me around today. Uh, he says there's like four plus pound smallmouth in these small lakes and systems. So we're gonna try and find them today. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we are all rigged up. We have a ton of rods out and uh, it's gonna get epic. We're here in Jed's little freaking bass tracker and I want this bow so bad. It's pretty freaking sick. But yeah, we're getting set up right now. We're about to get ripping and hopefully we catch some monsters. So stay tuned. It wouldn't be a day of fishing without, you know, a little bit of malfunction on the boat. Right. <laughs> Always, right? <laughs> we're having a little bit of trolling motor problems this morning, but uh, I'm already seeing fish busting all over the place, guys. So that's really promising. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off a little top water, I assume. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's looking juicy out here. There's a little fog on top and fish are absolutely crushing. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be promising. That pedal is 170 bucks. So Jed found out that it was that pedal, guys. He actually dragged it for like a mile. <laughs> I dragged it on the road all the way here. I got to the gas station this morning filling up. And this guy walks over, he's like, yeah, you have something dragging off the side of your boat. And I'm like, what? And I over, and sure enough, it's my foot pedal dragging <laughs> on the road. <laughs> oh, look at, that. look at the bait boiling. Yeah. Bait. Oh, dude, this is looking so Bait boiling. Oh, this nice, nice tall, like, hydrilla or whatever it's yep. called. Mm -hmm. That's going to look, oh, yeah, this is promising. Look at this drop off right here. Oh, guys, look at that. Fish bust right there. It's going down. Fish bust right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, this top water mayhem is about to begin. I'm throwing a frog. Jed's got a nice spook on. It's about to get epic. Come on, baby. Eat the frog. Bing, fish on. First fish of the day. Oh, dude, it looks good. You know what, let's get the net. We're getting the net. Good, Smalley. Let's go, baby. Oh, yeah, 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 quality. Yeah, dude. Nice. That's a quality fish. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> right in the sun. They're lively right now, man. Yee <laughs> hoo. Here you go. Nice and fat and healthy. Yeah, she is a fatty. Yeah. Should we do a bag today? Should we do a bag? You want it? We got the live oh, look, well going. There's, there's a whole group under the boat right there. They okay. 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 We're gonna get fishing, guys. We're gonna we're gonna keep a bag for today. See what see what goes down. I'll just weigh them on my uh, rapala and keep it track of them on there. Yep. Sounds and good to me. Go as we catch them. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. I'm saying yeah, roughly close to that as well. Yeah, baby. I get her to sit still. <laughs> Good luck. Not these Vermont smileys. 
Here we go. It's beefy for this little pond, guys. It's nuts. What do we got? Two, four, two, two, four, four, two. Like a two. Two, four, four. Two, four, four. Two, four, four. Right on the money. All right. Our first fish of the day, guys. Two, four, four. We'll take it. We'll take it. We're in the money. Let's go. If this was a tournament, I'd sure as heck be happy for the first fish of the day. Boom, back in, and uh, we're gonna get back fishing. Let's go. That was nuts, though. What a hit, though. Oh my God, you guys missed it. I'm sorry, but that he crushed it right in front of the boat. <laughs> that was insane. Little guy, little small mouth. We're not gonna wait. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the sun's heating up right now. It's getting warm quick, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's gonna be in the 80s today, I think. Yeah, look, more fall that fishing too. Good. Let's go. Oh my God, Jed's on fire right oh, now. Oh, I lost it. Oh, it was a hog that too. Was. Oh my God. Oh. That thing was beefy. No. Dude. Okay, okay. Oh, that was a three pounder, bro. Dude, that was sad, bro. Oh. <laughs> that one hurt. Yeah, she manhandled me, I won't lie. See how the hit was? Yeah. Like, just a little <laughs> oh my god, right out of the air, dude. Oh no. Hope she didn't bend my hook. No? Yeah, then. That was one of the right ones. Oh my god. Like those all day. That was insane. Fish are just busting everywhere. I'm losing the frog. I'm tying on a Champlain Provisions baby bass popper right now. And Shout that out. That is going to get bit. Absolutely. I 100% have confidence. Absolutely. I think so too. Shout out to Michael for sending me these. Guys, go show them some love on Instagram. Follow them on their Facebook page. And uh, yeah, support your local business. All right, that's absolutely getting swallowed. Dude, biggins. What is going on? You can definitely cast out with the five feet right now. Get ready to get crushed. Oh, dude, that's got some awesome action. Seven feet. They're here. They're busting out in the back of the boat. Yeah. It could be. Yeah, top water. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. As soon as that sun comes up, guys, you know, air heats up, water heats up immediately. Fish will go back down, you know, they'll feed on top. The first light, the first hour or so, and then head back down for the day. So, with that being said, if we don't get any more top water bites in the neck. Fish on, fish on. Oh, oh yeah. Getting the net ready here. Good fish. Good fish. Crush that thing. Oh my God. Guess that popper worked. Yeah, shout out to Champlain Provisions, guys. Let's go. Nice Look at that. That's a beefer. Easy guy. I don't want to get hooked either. Alright, we're gonna get a weight. There we go. I want it falling off. Yeah. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, just under two pounds. Just under two, baby. Absolutely annihilated that. Look 
guys, first hour, maybe half an hour of the day. We're already both on the board. All right, guys, so we just made a move. Spot, oh! Oh! First cat! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I can't fuck with Are they here, dude? This is my last drop shot hook on me, maybe. I flipped him in the boat. They're here. They're definitely here. We gonna weigh that one? I'm gonna hold with it. <laughs> Not huge. Not huge, but enough. It hit like it was five pounds. <laughs> Did you see that? Came back. Dude, first cast. First cast. Oh my gosh, they're hitting top water. Absolutely. We're gonna crush bass all day today. Absolutely. Okay, guys, I'm tied up on a drop one shot. Five four. One five four. Yeah. All right, so we got two. We're in a tournament, so basically we'll be just putting in our bag for now until we got. Yeah. Twelve seconds later. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, guys. Second cast. Can't make this up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a tank, bro. Oh, he's already by the boat. Oh, oh, my God, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> dude, let's go. Bye. Oh, oh, that's got to be almost a 20 inch small. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is a tank. <laughs> that's what we're after, right here, folks. Oh, my God. Look at this fish. <laughs> Look at that fish. Let's go, dude. Let's see. I'm thinking 19 at least, but. I'm, think I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's three, two. Maybe three, oh, yeah. three, two. It's a 19 inch bass. Let's go, master angler. Have you entered a master angler yet this year? Well, you should. Yeah. You got one right now, dude. <laughs> Especially if you don't have a little trophy for it, you know what I mean? What did you say? Three, two. Uh, three. Maybe, two. maybe, t yeah, th like two, eight, three, two. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, oh! baby, on the dot. <laughs> it's a three, two, one, dude. It's a tanker. All right, let's get a photo. A little harder to hold on to these big ones. <laughs> big smile. Yeah. <laughs> Safely Dude, she released. Just annihilated it. Dude, Get two your top water out two there. Two guys, Dude. two casts. Jed, Jed is crushed. All right, it's time to get out there, guys. <laughs> oh. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, she bent some hooks on that one. Absolutely, that thing was a mondo. <laughs> Goodness, bro. Are they feeding? So guys, as I was saying before, we just pulled up the spot too. Jed has managed to catch two quality fish on two casts. I was kind of screwing around on the drop shot game, tying it up, but you gotta be prepared, right? Look, that's why we started out there, folks. If you look behind you, our first spot is already being fished by a second boat. Oh, uh, yeah. We got it in. I think that was a good fish because I missed one. I think so. And then I hit that one, cast back out, and had another one. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what yeah. it felt like to me. I'm going to turn to the left here and we'll start heading in this way. This is where the fish are going to be. Yeah. We're sitting in eight feet. Eight feet of water right now. You're passing into shallow, but you can see this is where they're going to be. There's like eight, seven, eight feet of sparse weeds. Yeah. Like, don't even be afraid to cast like out this way, too. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Uh. Oh, St. Croix, we need to talk. No. Guys, what? Oh, my God. 
God. Wow, does that suck. I just lost a really nice rod, guys. Hopefully St. Croix will warranty this. Well, I'm a little tight. That hurts a little bit because my wife just snapped a G. Loomis uh, bronze back in the car. And now I just lost this. Oh, oh my God, that hurts. Guys, what could have caused this? I don't know. I've never had a rod break down here before. On casting a little swim bait, like this is an oversized. This is a medium heavy power. It's fast acting, it's 6'6", six, six. It's, it's a beefy stick. And wow, it just snapped. That's unreal. Well, I might have to uh, rethink uh, buying St. Croix rods for now on. Might have to stick to Dobbins. All right guys, spot number three. I'm gonna hit it with some top water real quick. If that doesn't pay off, I'm gonna switch up. Oh, this looks good. This looks really good. Oh yeah, tell me we we're not gonna jack some smallies on this. Hey! Hey! <laughs> on the max scent? Dude. Hey. <laughs> Bro, you better weigh that. <laughs> yeah, you did. I am re tying up right now. I need to put a frog on. Always pays to bring like six rods. I did, but. I ended up breaking one, which was kind of crucial this morning to having, um, you know, me not having to consistently tie on new baits. So now that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> tie this frog on. I'm gonna pop into this grass. See what happens. Ooh, oh, there yeah. we go <laughs> on the net. Yes. Yo, nice fish. Absolute quality. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I got the net ready. Oh, that is a donk. Nice fish. That is a pig. Okay, guys, so Jed was telling me that this spot hold, literally holds four pound small. Oh, he's just pulling on this light action rod, dude. Oh, in the current, dude. What a toad. Look at him just ripping a little drag on it. Anyways, guys. So everywhere around us is actually like three feet of water and we're literally fishing a little pocket um, that's what, like 13, 10, 13, 10 to 13 12, feet, yeah. an absolute solid current, grass on the bottom. And I'm really trying to get this fish in right now, guys, but he is a current fish. <laughs> you know what I mean? He is pulling nice and hard. Look at that. Just pulling on that drag. That drag is locked down. Come on. I think we're gonna get a chance to grab him. Oh, solid smallie. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he gulped that thing. Luckily, it's hooked back so he's not in his stomach. I think it is for sure. I can show you a little trick if you can't get it. Yeah. There's something I do. So I showed Nas this and he does it now all the freaking time too. Cause he, this one day. He gulped it. This one day, he just absolutely. Okay, you go through the top part of the gill here. Pull the line out. And then you pull it like this. I don't want to go lower cause it's a smaller hook. You gotta be careful with their gills. What it does is you to get a nice grip on the hook. Well that, and you can push it out like directly out, you know, instead of having it pulling yeah. like straight up. Let's see if I can get this hook out. There it is. There it is. Yeah, dude. Quality. Here. All right, I'll dip him. We'll get a dip, weight on him. some water, yeah. That's a three pounder, bro. She ain't bleeps. I think she's good. Yeah, I think she is good. 
Guys, it is always important. I cannot stress out. But if you have these fish out for a certain amount of time, get them back in the water before you take your pictures. Give them a little dip ski. Make sure that this fish is ready to go already. She's jumping around. She's long too, dude. Yeah, it's probably close. Super long. Or two, dude. It's over three pounds. Over three pounds. Let's go. All right. Gotcha. I didn't. I didn't get to click it in. Oh yeah. One second. That's our fifth fish. Yeah. We have twelve twenty-one. 1221. Let's go. Him. Tanks. We're gonna get some more though. Let's go. Let's keep fishing. I think it's a smallie. I don't know. It's fighting up a rock bass. A smallie, smallie. Oh, it's a rock bass. Oh, whoa. That's a bigger rock bass. A little bit. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Getting beefy on the rock bass. <laughs> All we need is a largemouth now, and we caught every bass in Vermont, guys. Oh, dude, look at that smallie right here. Look, look to your, oh my God. Oh my God. That is a three and a half, four pounder. Oh my God, guys. This is a monster. He might have saw us. Oh. Oh, should we back out? She won't bite. That fish is smart as fuck. Dude, that fish was. That's a four pounder. Oh my god, guys. We easily just saw a four pound smallmouth. She was a monster. Wow. Dude, we just screwed that up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Absolutely nuts. There's a nice down log right in front of us too. Oh my god, this is bad. There we go. No. Dude, that might be the Master Angler Rock Bass. Dang. Oh my god, guys. Look at this rock bass. Alright, you got a board? Yeah, right here. Definitely gotta measure this. Has to be how big? 10 inches, I think. No, it's not 10. Holy shit, it is. <laughs> I'm gonna hold it, but I'll use my hand like a bump. Board. 10 inches. That's a 10 inch, bro. Wanna get there? Yeah. Crazy. Oh, I tied a craw in the finesse. Check that out. Jig. Oh, that's getting choked. So, that's my third master angler entry of the year, guys. I've never submitted a, a, a rock bass, so I'm excited to enter a new species onto the master angler list this year. And if you guys have no clue what I'm talking about, I'll leave some information below for you to go read and check out. Anybody can get a part of this program, and I believe all 50 states um, participate in it, but don't quote me on that. But I'll leave some information down below for you Vermonters. It's free too. Just seeing that bass got me fired up, dude. <laughs> like, knowing that uh, bass of that caliber are in this tiny little lake is just unreal, dude. Unreal. I'm so glad I made the drive out today to come fish. It, oh, oh my god, look at that fish. She is. Look at that fish. Put it right on her nose. Come on. Oh, she went to it, dude. Oh my god. It's making me sick. Yeah. 
today yeah yeah we ended up catching uh quite the bag today we caught about 16 pounds so hmm. it was a good day my first time on this lake so it was pretty fun good. i think you've done that a time or two <laughs> dude the first time that i tried putting this on this trailer was not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I just want to make you aware of the water chestnut problem in this area. <laughs> oh, I'm make aware. sure you clean off your boat. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Guys, I do want to bring awareness to some of this. Uh, there are wonderful people like this here. And uh, what is your, exactly your position? Is it just to uh, give us a little explanation? Well, it's basically to check out the boats as they come in to find out what body of water they were in the last time they were here. Okay. Make sure they're clean, weed free, and make sure they understand what we're trying to do with the invasive species around here. Absolutely, so generally guys, these guys are just basically here to protect our water basins and our water sheds uh we don't want to spread invasive species like the goby the round goby or uh zebra mussels or invasive water chestnut uh there's so much that can spread um just from boats going from system to system so always check your boat make sure there's no crud on it and uh give it a hose down if you can it's usually hose down stations but i see one here it's mr bass pro freaking <laughs> over here Guys, make sure you spam Jed. Tell him I want to fish a tournament with him. So <laughs> <laughs> it'll happen sometime. It'll it's happen. gonna happen, and uh, we uh, we'll be back soon on another small lake. There are so many freaking lakes up here now, guys, and I'm ready to explore them all. Well, guys, that's a freaking wrap. I hope you enjoyed this episode and there is much more awesome content to come. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, show me some love, drop a like on this episode and click that little notification button so you know next time we upload. I'm gonna keep trying to get out on these little lakes. Let me know if you guys want me to come do some fishing with you. Drop me a message on the Facebook page. Anyways, I hope you all have a good day and we'll catch you on the next episode of Angling with Alex. Peace.